Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at backing up and restoring data, how to back up data and the options that we have available to us, where to back it up, and then once we've backed it up, if we need to, how to restore it. OK, so we've come to the stage now where we want to back up some data, and there's two types of data that we back up. Firstly, it's our original core yield data from the uh, from the header and um, we want to make sure that we back that up and we'll look at um, how we go about doing that later or we and or we can look at backing up the data within our software so the software backup is the process data where we've done some work on it and uh, we've we've analyzed it and done whatever we need to do and we want to make sure that we don't lose that so every time we uh, we go to close the program we get the option as to whether we want to back up our project now um, depending on what you've done you can say yes um, if you want to back it up or if you haven't done anything and you've just viewed it and you've backed it up previously then the answer is no I'm just going to click cancel here and we'll come back to uh, the options in a second or um, if I want to uh, to back up a project straight away because I'm going to be doing a new task on uh, on my computer on the software where I'm not a hundred percent sure how to go about it so I want to back the data up so if I get it wrong I can just come back to uh, my previously backed up data where I know it is a hundred percent correct so I've um, selected the backup project option and we see here the uh, the little words there Dropbox um, how, I'm not sure how many of you will have heard of Dropbox but it's a cloud-based storage system uh, there's Dropbox and many 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 more where your data can be backed up to the cloud uh, I choose job Dropbox purely because um, I find it uh, the simplest and the easiest to use and uh, it works well with a lot of other uh, applications that I have you don't have to use Dropbox you can choose any others that you like um, but choosing a cloud-based backup mechanism is uh, important because as soon as you back it up and the data is uploaded to the cloud it's safe if you back it up to your uh, somewhere else on your computer and your hard drive fails then you've still lost your data if you back it up to a an external hard drive then that's great but if that fails then uh, we've, we've lost our data again there's a much less chance of that happening but uh, it does and uh, we just want to uh, protect our data so I choose Dropbox purely because of ease of uh, what I want to do so I've, I've chosen my um, my folder where I want to back it up to and so this is my uh, Dropbox folder and I've created a folder on there called Richard Ward and uh, that is his yield data and I've then create a backup name called Richard Ward um, backup so I give it the name of the farm and uh, and what it is because uh, otherwise it could get quite confusing if we've got a number of different projects and we don't clearly identify them plus if you have to send your data off to be analyzed or uh, well, there's a problem with it um, and you send it to me for example then I have a lot of backup um, files so I need to know which far farmer it is so it just helps us in a number of ways to make sure that uh, that we've got that um, correct so I'll click Save there and uh, I uh, I've chosen because I backed it up in the past the Richard Ward backup is uh, already in there there's no need to create um, a new backup folder each time just overwrite the previous one as long as you're comfortable and happy that uh, you want to do that if you if you want to create a backup um, option each time then you uh, then you can do it's entirely up to you so I'll click OK this backup file already exists do you wish to replace it I will go yes on this occasion and it just goes through the process of, uh, of, of backing the data up um, from there depending on how much data you've got it can take a little bit of a time but again it doesn't doesn't matter um, this process is exactly the same when you close the software down it's no different at, at all so um, once you've closed your software down if you're backing it up to Dropbox then uh, as long as you're online it will send it uh, straight away to the the cloud the Dropbox cloud on your account and uh, your data will be safe 
the uh, the the risk the only risk in that is just uh, the time if your computer happens to, uh, to 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 crash while the data is being uploaded then uh, then you'll lose it but that's much better than um, than trying to do it on an old USB stick or a, an external hard drive it doesn't uh, doesn't take that long um you can carry on working in the background it's not too much of a problem with that, with that at all the files can get reasonably big they are compressed so you can't make them any smaller but it is a great way of ensuring that your very precious uh, data is uh, is safe so we're coming to the end of this backup and it works well so there we go the backup is uh, is complete and if you did this when your software is closing then the software would close so if we want to uh, to restore some data um, I will go to file restore backup um, do I want to do a backup now no in this instance no so I then go back to my Dropbox where I've got my data stored I will select the uh, the name of the backup that I want to use and then I will choose my particular uh, particular project name and again this should really be governed by uh, farm name business name rather than just project one or, uh, or or an individual year so I'll click OK and it'll ask me if I want to completely replace all the data files do I wish to continue yes I do because uh, I want to go back to a previous session and uh, this is all it does it'll just restore the data back to its original form when you last did your uh, your backup certainly if you've made changes during the day and um, you uh, if you have d done that then it's very well worth backing it up um, at the end of that uh, end of that day um, because you don't want to lose any data it's taking you time your management time to uh, to analyze the data and and make the changes uh, changes to it and why would you want to lose it so get it backed up and uh, the other thing about Dropbox is that it will actually back it up to your hard drive as well so you've got that one in the first instance and then it just syncs it with the uh, with the cloud after that so there we go um, backup is uh, is restored and uh, we are now taken to a stage or a format where we can just see uh, see our management tree and we can then carry on with our desktop um, software analysis